action. So thank you so much for joining me. I know you got some situations going on. <laughs> You're being very uh, resourceful at this present time. <laughs> survivor. I'm a survivor. Okay, okay, okay. I can dig it. So let's get right into it. First of all, I am here with Little Authors, uh, Little Explorers, author, and counting candles, and my dad loves me, Mr. Emmanuel T. Shorten Sr., correct? Correct. Okay. Correct. So these are children's books, but the unique thing about this is I, I want you to tell everybody the, the unique qualifications and what made you write these books in the first place like you you were in a situation right now and you still put out great content well i was incarcerated back in early 2015 behind a drug conspiracy and uh, the absence from being with my children i have i have five that uh re resided in a home with me so the absence of being with my children as they was growing up it, it was just eating me up so bad. I, I picked up the pen and I said, I'm going to make some books and they're going to be dedicated to all my children and children around the, the world who might be de dealing with the same circumstances that my children are dealing with. You know, and so that way, when they go to school, the uh, the ones that was in elementary at the time, when they go to school, they will have a book to take. My, my dad's not present, but my dad wrote these books and they are dedicated to us and for us. Mm, okay. Legacy and lineage. I love it. So give us a little bit, like, were you always a writer, always an author? Well, coming up in middle school, actually elementary, I was in, involved in writing plays and, and, and different little, little things that we did in drama classes and things of that nature. And, uh, you know, the, the whole classroom would, would write them, but mine would sometimes be the one that they would pick, the teacher would pick. And, uh, you know, from, <laughs> from that, it, 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 it trickled over from elementary to middle school and it was something I always had a, a passion for. I just never pursued it when I got older in life. You okay, know, okay, I, okay. I'm sorry. I had, I had I had other things, other visions and things that I pursued. Like I was also a licensed realtor. Mm. I had my own entertainment label and I also had a clothing store. Wow. You know, so I, I I was a bit I was an entrepreneur. I was not just in the streets. I was definitely an entrepreneur when I was free. Right. Wow. So when the authorship came into play, it was after you got incarcerated in 2015? Correct. Okay. And then you made a whole publishing house. So tell us about that. Well, while, while putting my children's books together, I said, I, I might as well put my own publishing company together so that way I can publish some of the authors who are incarcerated. Some of the, I can help them get their literature out to the world as well. Wow. And I, I came up with the word ling, ling uh, ing is a the suffix which stands and means connected together. So I took the L and put the L with the ling, where we take your literature and connect it to the world. And that's that's the slogan that we ran with with ling publishing. Okay. And when did ling publishing commence? Uh, in 2021. 2021. So after the pandemic, but you were already in the mindset that you're going to write this um, manuscript for your kids, like, because they needed to know that there was more to you than what you are or where you are right now. Correct. I, I have over eight children's books already written and ready to rock and roll. So I, I'm in the process this year here alone. I, I plan on releasing My Dad Loves Me, which also <laughs> have a sequel that uh, cater to to our sisters as well that says my mom's loves me. Okay. My mom loves me. You know, cause okay. Cause I was like, okay, wait a minute. This now he gonna have to come correct with this now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I got to. I can't forget about our sisters because you know some of them suffer as well right. with some of the mishaps that we have in this in the United States. You know, right. so but I also have uh the day the world shut down and that's uh pertaining to the COVID nineteen virus and how children were stuck at home, were not able to get out and play, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, it touches bases with most kids because most kids had to in, interact behind closed doors with their friends. They couldn't communicate other than on the phone. Right. When the, when the coronavirus first came through. So I plan on releasing My Dad Loves Me and the day the, the world shut down. I plan on releasing both of those before summertime this year right here. Okay. Well, congratulations. So my next question, and I hope it's not insensitive, but it is unfortunate what happened 
you know, with you getting arrested, you know, our black men just being incarcerated. Like you said, you had so many plans, so many things put into motion before this transpired. However, do you think you would have become a published author had the prison stint not happened? I don't, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. It would have been, it would have been other ventures that I probably would have pursued heavily, you know, and, uh, been very, uh, lucrative with, but, uh, being a published author, this right here had set me down and gave me time to think and focus more on different things, you know, so it opened up different avenues and, and better doors. Right. Right. I mean, we're talking about black culture and getting inside the black communities and talking to people who's just like you. So with that being said, how do you link to other authors? This has to be a very difficult maneuver uh, from inside. Well, I have a, my, my co-partner, my mm -hmm. co-partner name is Quentin Samuels and he's free. He's located mm -hmm. on the outside. He has a brother who's doing 30 years in state prison. Wow. I'm, I'm in federal prison, mm -hmm. but his brother is doing 30, 30 years in state prison back in South Carolina where we are located. So uh, from from that aspect, he's on the outside. He has access to a lot of urban authors. We have a, a cookbook that'll be released later on this year. Uh, we have we have a lot of different genres that we're going to be touching bases because it's a dark you owned and operated company. So I see that Zayn Ali was the illustrator for your books. Is Zayn incarcerated too? Or is this all in house? No, Zane, Zane, everything was done in house, but Zane Ali was just one illustrator that I used off a freelance site. And mm -hmm. I just acknowledged his name because I, I wanted to acknowledge hey, his homage. name. Yes, correct. correct. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm currently recruiting and looking for some individuals that look just like me and you to do the illustrations for these for these up and coming books. And, and that's that's what I will be pursuing. That's what's up. So with your children's books, did you have case studies? Because again, after all, although you're resourceful, you're on Zoom <laughs> from where you're from, okay, okay, okay. But although resourceful, um, that you had to have case studies to say, hey, this is this is a good book to put out. Kids will respond to this. I, I did. I did a little research because I, I, I knew that, like I say, it's, it's a lot of parents who are suffering from being away from their kids, whether they're incarcerated, whether they're deceased, or whether they're in the military, you know, it, it, it's it's a bunch of different different avenues that can prevent us from being with our children and our loved ones. You know? Right. So, so we, uh, go ahead. oh, keep going. I'm sorry. So you know that just that just motivated me even more, you know, because I I hate an absentee parent who's present and able to be there and not there. That that mm. very, is very irking to me and another thing that I, I came up with when i am released i plan on putting together a non-profit organization where i'll be helping kids get to see their parents that are incarcerated so, wow so some of the proceeds that'll be going to, uh, and i'll be acknowledging that once i'm released some of the proceeds that'll be going towards the books purchased up under lean publishing llc i'll be taking those proceeds and putting them towards my non-profit organization to help children get to their parents at least once or twice a year courtesy of lean publishing llc well you got big things popping that is for definite sure so i'm hashtag sorry my, my, hashtag my my best is yet to come okay 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 period poo so <laughs> and with that being said like you said you are looking for other authors you have been in contact with other authors so how many authors do y'all have up under lean publishing llc Currently, we have four authors right now that's that's published up on the Lean LLC. Mm -hmm. Okay, and those are children's books. No, those are those are urban authors. Okay. So I, I'm the, I'm the only children author right now, but uh, we we have another children author that will be released later on this year as well. But uh, we have uh urban four urban books that are available on Amazon right now, and they are Who Can You Trust? And that author is Jabril Crawford out of Florence, South Carolina. We have we have another urban book called Crossed Out by Quentin Samuels, the co-founder of Lean Publishing LLC. We have we have another one called The Jones Family Tree, and that also is by Jabril Crawford. And last but not least, we have a uh, 1800 block, which is by an author out of Florida, out of Pompano Beach, Florida. So 
you are you have a wide reach that's number one and with that wide reach what is a day in the life like as far as being a publisher incarcerated like what does that look like for you i mean you know it's 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 very busy because i i have to try to stay active and i i, I can never really walk around i'm, I'm not <laughs> I'm not accustomed to having a computer and a laptop like I need, unfortunately. Right. You know, so it it it, dep- I, it it consists of me being in touch with the outside world a lot. You know, right? I, I have to be, in, you know, but like I say, my best is yet to come. So this is only a start. This it's a good a- start. I mean, you have to be able to trust people to like your illustrations are phenomenal. I saw the video that's on Amazon that accompanies the uh, Ling LLC. So everything is top notch when you go in and look at it. So that's amazing coming. Although you have hands out here, but you're in there. That's a that's a pretty big deal. So Thank you. you're welcome. So with your book, uh, Little Explorers that book would you consider more spirit or spiritual for children i i would consider it more more unifying than spiritual you know Mm -hmm. more unifying you know basically just acknowledging because i have a i have a caucasian boy by the name of chris i have Mm -hmm. a girl by the name of sue i have a dark hue sister named melissa and i have a uh a, a Spanish boy by the name of Jose. So I, I, I really wanted to kind of unify the children, letting them know that color color is just uh, abstract for each each one of them. We we all are equal, you know? Right. So I, I basically wanted them to be able to understand that togetherness goes a long way. Right. Okay, and I like that you definitely tied it into a creator so they are under one creator in the universe. So that was a that was a big um, flat a highlight in the book. Correct. So with that book, do you think um, it would be something that y'all like? I know you order books there, and other and I don't want to say inmates because you're not there forever. But <laughs> you know, the, other people can order books for their family. So would this be readily to go through the motions? Because this is a good book to have to let other people know or kids know, hey, I'm here whether I'm not with you, like you said. Correct. All, all of the books are available right now on Amazon. And I, I have uh, the children's books, Counting Candles and Little Explorers. Mm-hmm. I have them available in hard copy. Oh wow! Okay. So, so that'll be like that's a special order through my website, leanpublishing.com. Mm-hmm. But all, all of them are available on, online on Amazon as well. So, counting candles, I like. I love what you did with that with that book. Tell me what was the inspiration behind that? Counting candles. Uh, my my two youngest children, <laughs> Carly and Chandler. Well, they uh. In that book, they were back and forth with one another over who could count the candles the fastest at the many different birthday parties that they attended of their brothers and sisters and cousins and family members. And and those they are the characters. My my children are the actual characters in counting candles. Oh. So that's sweet. I love it. So everything is like family oriented, but for everyone else. Like one of my questions was like, okay. I understand about dads, but what about the women? So you 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 have special interest in making books for them too. Correct. When I, uh when I release my my dad loves me, I will release a sequel. My mom loves me as well. I have both. I have both of them coming down the pipeline together. Okay, I'm a, I'm gonna order. Uh, my dad loves me for my nephews that's currently incarcerated. You know, because I think that's a representation means a lot for dads and moms that's behind where you are. You know, um, and you don't know when you're gonna touch down. Maybe you do, but it's just letting them know, hey, my daddy sent me this. My daddy was thinking about me. This is specially this is specially made for me. So uh, I applaud you for that. So when you get out, what are your plans? Do you plan to have a brick and mortar? Like what's good? Yes, I I definitely I plan on uh taking lean publishing to a- astronomical heights. <laughs> I, I I definitely do. It's the uh, publishing industry is a billion dollar industry. It's, it's right. more money in, in books than it is in music itself. 
So I, I def, that is going to be one of my many ventures that I plan on dealing with when I come home. I, I'm, I'm highly interested in the trucker business as well, but Lean Publishing is going to be at the top, the top of the uh, publishing brands. That's that's my plan on trying to make that a dark you owned and operated name to remember. Uh oh. So then another thing is, uh, you said you were going to do a, is it a movie or a television show? I, I plan on taking uh, Little Explorers and transforming it into a cartoon. A cartoon. Okay. And what can we expect that? Uh, I'm working. I'm, I have that in the pipeline as well. That won't be till like next year sometime. But I, I have somebody working on that as well right now because it's a Little Explorers is a series now. It started as one book, but it, it's a series. So uh, they can also expect to see another version of Little Explorers dropping later on in the fall. This fall of this year. Okay. So that's what's up. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna wrap it up. I want you to tell people. I know they can't follow you directly th- through social media. So give your website information and where they can cop those books. Okay. Well, they they our website is leanpublishing.com. L i n g p u b l i s h i n g. Leanpublishing.com. And you can all they can also follow our company on IG at lean l-i-n-g books b-o-o-k-s and the same for facebook lean l-i-n-g b-o-o-k-s books okay we got action so thank you so much mr short and i appreciate you taking the time out like somebody was like we're gonna get on this interview i don't care (laughs) put me in the hole (laughs) no